Barlow Fine. lenses, power mates, what do they do? How do you use them? What's the difference? And do you actually need one? Both Barlow lenses and power mates fall into the category of focal extenders because they both effectively extend the focal length of your telescope typically anywhere between two and five times. This has the knock-on effect of increasing magnification for a given eyepiece and results in improved pixel scale and resolution for planetary, solar and lunar imaging. A Barlow lens or power mate simply slots into the telescope's focus before you either add an eyepiece or a camera. Most planetary cameras can be used exactly the same way as a standard 1.25 inch eyepiece. They both have the same size nose piece and can simply push fit into the opening of the Barlow or the Paramate. You can then secure them in place using the provided thumb screws. Some Barlow lenses include a built-in T-thread so you can attach them directly to a DSLR or mirrorless camera via a T-ring. Otherwise you can still use a Barlow lens with a DSLR or mirrorless camera with the addition of a T-adapter. If you're using a camera with a large sensor though, you may want to consider using a larger 2-inch format Barlow or Paramate along with a 2-inch T-adapter. This will help avoid vignetting where the centre of the image is brighter than the outside of the image. 2-inch Barlows or Paramates are also required if you intend to use 2-inch eyepieces of course. Many telescopes struggle to reach focus with cameras, so a Barlow can be really helpful to bring that focus point forward further out from the focuser so you require less inward travel to reach focus with your camera. Just bear in mind that the resulting increased focal length and focal ratio usually isn't suitable for deep sky imaging. Barlows usually contain a two element negative doublet lens which results in diverging rays out towards the eyepiece. These diverging rays increase an eyepiece's eye relief a small amount with short focal length eyepieces which can actually be beneficial but more so with long focal length eyepieces that already tend to have plenty of eye relief. This can push an eyepiece beyond its intended design limit resulting in vignetting. Therefore Barlow lenses are best used with short to medium focal length eyepieces where they can actually have a small beneficial effect on eye relief and are probably best avoided when using long focal length eyepieces. A Paramate on the other hand is like a Barlow lens just with the addition of a positive doublet lens for correcting the Barlow's diverging rays. The rays that come out of the Paramate are parallel and therefore have no effect on eye relief. So a Paramate would be a better choice when using a longer focal length eyepiece. There is also the argument that Paramates have a flatter field for imaging and that does make sense considering the light rays leaving the Paramate are indeed parallel but the draw is still out on that one. So to conclude, Barlow lenses and paramates are a must-have for planetary solar and lunar imaging and can potentially double the magnifications available for your eyepiece collection. Paramates may have a couple of advantages, but they do cost a bit more and Barlows work just fine with short to medium focal length eyepieces where they can actually also have a slight beneficial effect on eye relief. Neither should degrade the image too much as long as the lenses within are fully multi-coated. So if you only have a couple of eyepieces so far or you're thinking of getting into planetary imaging, this is something you might want to consider. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'll provide links to Barlow's, Paramates and Tele-Extenders below. A big thank you to the three that used my First Light Optics affiliate links this month and to Andrew Downey, Astro Nebulae, Kevin P. Kozak and Spaceman for supporting the channel by buying me a coffee over the last few months. Thank you, it's really appreciated and it really helps towards the expenses of things like subscriptions that I use for the channel. So thank you so much and until next time, take it easy everyone and please remember to tell those clouds to sod off.